man used to be our hero. This man says he is our hero. And this man wants to be our new hero. But in a world where true heroes are few and far between, can we really trust any of them? Or are they all just painted black with an insatiable hunger to be champion? Three athletes who have defied their own mortality to achieve the status of hero. Three men who have defined this sport prepare for an epic battle to determine the EWF Heavyweight Champion. Three very distinct characters. The Blackheart, the Champion, and the Heir Apparent. Who will save us? For our hero is painted black. Terrence Roberts' new prodigy. We don't even know who he is. Go Bear! Woo! Let's go, Bear! Yeah. Get 
a new competitor here in the EWF. What? And wait, hold on. Hey, hey. Wait. Spinning complacently. Hey, hey. That mysterious voice. Covered and blinded by a blanket of little hey. lives. False security has lulled the madness of this world into a slumber. Someone who has been spying on Mr. McKibben with a hidden camera. Upon you, staring straight he's obviously about to strike again. I don't know what, what he has to what his purpose are, is in this match. And everything that you can never be. Yes. No and I is no bear. And I am ready to blink. So face forward. With arms wide open and mind ruling, your future has arrived. Are you ready to go? What in the world? Burn! And wait, there comes Terrence Roberts' music. Burn! Burn! What does this mean? Burn! And Terrence Roberts is walking Burn! out with this this awesome specimen. Microphone. Don't tell me that this is Terrence Roberts' man, the man who's been spying on Mr. McKibben. First of all, to you, Ben McKibben, I accept your challenge with dishonor to your name and to your family. Ben's challenged Terrence to a handicap match with anybody he wants as his partner later on tonight. Hey, and see, nobody cares about you, and everybody cares about me. Because they're in complete awe with my body, my clothes, and my abilities. <laughs> see, they really don't care about you. And see this young lad behind, beside me? He is the new part of my new enterprise. <laughs> Not just any enterprise, Robert's Enterprise. <laughs> Robert's Enterprise. Even though he is not my mystery opponent for later, he can still horrify and electrify a midget like the cub. Oh no. That's gonna get the bear angry. Get him, cub. His, name bear. Is... His name is totally impronounceable. It's German, French, Swahili, Yugoslavian, and everything else. So I'll just call him ICU. I see the world take care of that little midget skate. And oh my goodness! This monster named ICU is pounding away at the bear and he is manhandling like he really is a cub! ICU, that just fits perfectly into what he's been doing to Mr. McKibben because he is seeing Mr. McKibben. And what in the. Jackhammer! And a jackhammer on the bear, that's it! Get the rabbit here! One, two, three, yeah! And I see you. The first what does everybody think about that? member wow. into Robert's Enterprises wow. has just destroyed the bears. Hold on a minute, buddy. Wait, there's Mr. McKibben. You're the one who's been doing those stinking camera crap. You like to peep on people and take people away. You know what? Bill Pullman's gonna take you away straight to jail and you can't do nothing, Robert. Yeah! And Sergeant Bill Pullman is out here to take ICU to jail. What is this? Because of him being a peeping Tom, setting up cameras in Mr. McKibben's home. And he's taking him off to jail, Mr. McKibben says. And Mr. McKibben got into the face of Terrence Roberts afterwards. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this man about to make his way to the ringside area became the hardcore champion at Thicker Than Blood. Right now, he's the lone member of the force. His name is Mordecai, and he's not coming alone because he's out here with Zach and Kane, who helped him win that hardcore title one month ago. For the microphone, Mordecai is going to be facing Logan later on tonight. You know, for a couple months now, I've been watching the Extreme Wrestling Federation on pay-per-view. I've seen lots of wrestlers and I've seen lots of matches. But the one group that really stood out in my mind is the Force. I looked up to the Force, you know. I wanted to be in the Force. Tell them, Kane. 
Well, you know, last pay-per-view, thicker than blood, Bill the Apocalypse, you came out here and you said that the Force was dead. No! But I got yeah, news for you. The Force is not dead. It's back, and it's stronger than ever. <laughs> yeah! Well, all right. You know, the name Painted Black seems very fitting. Because as far as the Force is concerned, you're all painted black. You're all marked in the Force's eyes. And you know, we're back. Mordecai, say something. <laughs> Mordecai. Mordecai is our leader. So wrestlers, take heed. And oh my goodness, the such force. strong Woo! words here from... From, I guess, the new force, oh, Zack, Kane, and Mordecai, the hardcore champion. Mordecai! Mordecai! At the end of Thicker Than Blood, Bill the Apocalypse said that the force was dead. I believe we've just now seen the resurrection of the force. Well, fans, this next match has got a lot of history building up to it. You saw Terrence Roberts out here just a few moments ago. Coming out here again, Ben McKibben made an open challenge to Terrence Roberts. At the end of his match at Thicker Than Blood, he said, Roberts, you bring anybody you want, and he'll just keep knocking them down. So Terrence took that as an open challenge, and he says he's going to have a mystery partner. Calm, cool, and collective. Yeah, I'm talking about myself. What'd you expect? As you've already saw, I pulled a few strings and brought a dominant force into the EWF. Yeah! And now, I'm bringing back a new force in the EWF. What? He's well known, and he's going to be great. Using my lawyer skills, as y'all know I'm a great one, here comes my mystery partner against a faggot Ben McKibben. <laughs> yeah. Well, who is it? Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Could it be him? Could it possibly be the one and the only Grimace? And there he is! There's Grimace! Grimace! He's obviously a new member of Robert's Enterprises. We love you! Grimace was supposed to have lost his career back in downtime against Ben yeah. McKibben. But obviously Terrence Roberts, as we all know, he's a lawyer and a who knows what else. But he pulled some strings and Grimace is back. I cannot believe this. Ben's going to be taking on Chris and Terrence Roberts here. He asked for it, and that's what he's going to get. And Ben tackles Grimace. And he spears him. And head first, Terrence Roberts goes into the ground. Get him, Ben. Get him, Ben. Get him, Ben. Get Roberts. Get Roberts. And Ben is destroying Grimace. He's taking out months' worth of aggravation. Get up, One, two. And there's a two count. Get Roberts. Terrence Roberts has assembled no joke. just so far two what I can see dominant forces for his new Roberts Enterprises. Get him! Terrence Roberts is just taking it easy. Looks like he's sneaking up on Ben, and here he comes. And he pulls Ben off of Grimace. Grimace is back, fans. I cannot believe this. And Grimace with Blows to Ben McKibben, and now he's in control. And a double axe handle to the back. Ben McKibben has been feeling the wrath. Oh my goodness, what a chop! Ben's been feeling the wrath of Terrence Roberts for the past few months. It's come in many forms. And what is this? And Ben falls right back over the back of Terrence Roberts. A two! And Grimace is looking as sharp as ever here. Let's go, Let's He's been go, out of action for a few months. Oh, I thought he was retired. <laughs> the fans are clearly on Ben's side. 
And, and Ben, gonna get double teamed in a clothesline there. Good grief. Fans, we have so much in store for you tonight. The Intercontinental title will be on the line as Jamison Cable defends against Sergeant Bill Putman. We'll have more about that later. And the Cryptic Souls crew will be facing Chaz Cable, and he also has a mystery partner for later on tonight. That, along with a first oh, blood did. match between the brothers, a rematch, no, we Calvin and Doug no, Johnson, we Kevin. as well as that triple threat main event we've been talking about for the heavyweight championship, Ray Parks, Billy Apocalypse, and Shane Smith. We'll be talking about that later on. Right now, Grimace, oh my goodness, charges right at Ben. Oh my goodness. And a leg drop right into the midsection of Ben McKibben. And what is this double team maneuver? They're going to break Ben's arms. But he won't give. Ben's had to put up with Robert's crap for about three or four months now. Throw Grimace into that little equation. You can even throw ICU in there because he's now a member of Roberts Enterprises. Although he's, in, he's supposed to be in jail. Kill him, Ben. And what a splash by Ben. Roberts comes in to stop the three count. Roberts is gaining some technical skills. He's He's been in the ring now. This is his second time in the ring in an actual matchup situation. So he's not completely rusty. Oh. Yeah. Grimace may have some ring rust. He's been off for several no, months. Robert. There's a one, two, and Ben almost had him. Come on, man. And there you see Roberts just hanging out. I think he's somewhat coward. There you go, Ben. There you go, Ben. Let's go. And Grimace. Oh my goodness. And now Roberts, good grief. Roberts is throwing his body on the line. Ben, Sometimes. Pairing Roberts. I don't know what he was trying for there. That's what I was talking about. He doesn't have much experience. On, and now yeah. strategy going on. And Terrence Roberts uses Grimace as a shield. And Ben clotheslines Roberts. Ben is in control. Ben with a half suplex there. And Roberts is right back. Get down on all fours. Get down. Grimace barking out orders now. The ring general jumps off of Roberts' back, and what a splash! That's gotta be it. That's it. He's not even going for a cover, though. Then he just keeps pounding away. And Ben. Ben is a loner. He's been on his own against many odds. Terrence has got a chair now. And oh no, come on. Oh my goodness, Ben's face. Right into the seat of that steel chair. Hey, does this Hey, what does this remind you of? And I think Roberts is mocking Ben. He's getting ready to do the chair dive. And he missed. Ben, yeah, him, back on the offensive with a suplex on Grimace. He's setting them both up. What's he going for here? Fans are calling for the chair dive. And that's that may be what he's going to do. And a double chair dive. That's it. One, two, three. And Ben McKibben yeah, has man. successfully defeated Woo! both of these right men. Now. And what is this? Woo! Somebody's getting out of a car. Who is that? That's ICU. Hey, hey, ICU hey, has hey. come charging to the ring. And he tackles Ben. Hey, no, no. ICU must have gotten hey, free hey, because hey, Robert's hey, Enterprises hey, is dismantling hey, Ben McKibben. Hey, no. hey, no. ICU Grimace. And the leader, Terrence Roberts, are destroying Ben. This is
has gotten out of hand. Somebody get out here and stop this carnage. Ben's just fought two men. Now he's got to fight off three. Clotheslines, a barrage of clotheslines. And Grimace comes flying in. Come on. Somebody stop this. Take a look at these little fellers. Ben is being destroyed by three men. It's a three on one. And there you see it. Terrence Roberts. He is a power hungry individual. And Ben, he's got to be looking for some retribution down the road. Well, fans. Up next, Shane Smith has asked for some interview time. And the Seesaw Soldier's gonna get it. He said he's got some words for Bill the Apocalypse and Ray Parks. For later on tonight in that triple threat main event. The Seesaw Soldier. What you're looking at is the new hero in this federation. Bill the Apocalypse, you want to turn your back on all these fans? Well, that's just fine with me because I'm the new hero in this federation. And Bill the Apocalypse, you want to screw me out of the title? Well, tonight I'm going to get some payback and take that belt from Ray Parks while I'm at it. Hold on. Bill the Apocalypse is coming out here. Interrupting Smith. Shane Smith said he's going to get some payback. For Bill the Apocalypse's interference a month ago, and he's gonna take Ray Parks' title in the process. Shane, you ain't no hero. You're nothing. There is no more heroes. I used to be a hero. Now I'm the anti hero. In this federation, there's no such thing as a hero. There is nobody for little kids to look up. Hold on! There comes the heavyweight champion! And these two men are pushing and shoving. We got a stare down going on. Ray Parks. His music has just struck up. There you see the anti-hero as he calls himself. And there you see the man that calls himself the new hero. Bill the Apocalypse turned his back on all of us at Thicker Than Blood. Saying that he was being jobbed. He was being mired in the mid car. So he took matters into his own hands. But here comes the man who holds the most coveted prize in the game. The EWF champion, the outcast, Ray Parks. Parks has got a mic now. We got Seesaw Soldier Smythe out here. Yeah, and we got Bill the Chicken Apocalypse. I think of the blood, Smythe, I nearly decapitated you with kicking a can. I nearly threw you into the ground and you would have went six feet under with Parker right here. Until Chicken Pox over here came out and he hit me over the head. And then you go over and you hit Smythe over the head. You know, Smythe, I was starting to feel sorry for you. You, you was going down to the pits of the EWF. But then you turned around and you went back because I was getting up and you were starting to get afraid. Billy, you were right when you said that you sucked. You were right when you said that you're nothing. You were right when you said that nobody cheers for you anymore. And you were right when you said that you was going to take matters into your own hands. Billy Apocalypse, when you, when you came out here at the last pay-per-view, you said that you could have won the EWF heavyweight title. That was probably the most dreadful, sorry pay-per-views of them all. Probably because yours truly wasn't there. March and then massacre. you start crying and complaining because you went down to opening match and you fought all the losers. The Garden Stake, the Bear, Mort Mordisi. These fans, they never cheered for you. It was, a, it was just a big silence for you, chicken pox. But now, but now it's turned into a course of booze. Boo! 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 Boo!
definitely deserved for Bill the Apocalypse. Now, you say that you were a hero? Jake a big fan. You say that you were a hero? You're not no hero, which leads me to you, Smythe. You think these people were supposed to cheer for you just because I'm stupid Andre gave you a purple belt? You think they're supposed to cheer for you because of that? Well, Logan had that purple belt, and the reason they cheer for him is because of his physique, it's because he's an icon, it's because of his stature, everything about Logan. You think they're supposed to cheer for you just because you're the seesaw soldier? Well, if being a seesaw soldier means wearing stupid clothing with your stupid name on it, just remind all the parka lights of what your stupid name is, then no thanks, pal. You see, I wanted this triple threat match. I beat one of you, I can definitely beat the other. I don't think so. One of you is going to get their heads taken off by kicking the can, and the other one is going to have the pleasure of feeling Parker right here. And you two will feel and you will become the disease known as Parkerlitis. And you will fall in with the rest of the crowd, and you'll become a Parkerlite, and you will chant, Ray Park. Yeah. 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 Park. Yeah. Yeah. Mixed reaction from the crowd for the EWF champion. And tonight, you all are going to feel the wrath of me and all my parking lots. And hold on. Shane's shoving Ray. Buddy. Bill gets in there. Yeah. And these three guys are about to get it on right now. Yeah. Bill the Apocalypse ducks yeah. out first. We almost had a heavyweight title match right there. We're going to have to have them Thank escorted you. out. We almost had a heavyweight title match. But right now, we're going to be having a hardcore title match because Mordecai wants a piece of Logan Cable. If you can remember back to the glory days of the Force, when it was Bill the Apocalypse, the Hitman. Mordecai and Logan Cable. Logan Cable was the first to defect from the group. And then Morgan, Mordecai. Mordecai eventually went on his own, and he became the hardcore champion, as you see right now. He's out here with Zach. And Zach Powell is going to stand over. He's going to be over on the ringside, ringside area. Mordecai has asked for this match specifically. He wants Logan Cable because of the way that he ducked out on the force to join Ray Parks. Come on, Mordecai. Come on, Mordecai. Which actually may not have been that bad of a move. This match is underway. Mordecai <laughs> taking out some aggressions on Logan, slams him right down on those tough pie tins. He just pops Logan over the head with it. Come on, Mordecai. And a low blow by Logan Cable. The chipmunk, Logan Cable, as Ray Parks calls him. Hang on. One, two. And a two count. Mordecai picked up his very first piece of EWF gold here just a month ago. He defeated Chaz Cable in a major upset for the hardcore title. <laughs> and he is manhandling Logan Cable. Logan Cable is not a big man. He's not the one that anybody fears. But the kid's got a lot of heart. He's actually a former Intercontinental Champion. Whoa! There's a one, two. Hey, come on, Logan! And we almost had another major upset. Crack him! Over the head! Over Remember, the head. Harder. Zach Powell is over here Harder, Logan, at the ringside Harder. area. Harder. The new force oh. came back into existence tonight. I'm ahead. I'm ahead. Zach came and they said their leader is Mordecai. <laughs> Mordecai, good Harder. grief! Just got a shot over the head. It's going to take more than that. It's going to take more than that to put away Mordecai. Mordecai focusing on the back of Logan now. Stay away from that. 
And a suplex oh, attempt yes. here by Mordecai. Yeah. Slam straight down. Woo! One, two, and a, almost a three count. Come on, Ram, no by the slow count. No Logie, right Logie, 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 a Logie, DDT Logie. there by Logan. Logie, what a great move. He could have finished him off. One, two. And another two count. Like a little old puppy dog. Fans, puppy dog. we have so much in store for you tonight. Hot dog. All of the matches that I mentioned earlier are still yet to come. As well as a very special ceremony. A memorial ceremony in remembrance of one of our friends. Wake up, Rip! Wake up! We'll have more on that later. And Mordecai with knees to Logan. He's got him up. And oh my goodness, right across the knee. Great move by Mordecai. One, two. Come on, come on. And he almost put him away. Come on, Logan, Logan. Good grief, another pie tin over the head. And Logan with that sitting down DDT, or pile driver. One, two, two. Hey, 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 hey. Wait, sec, pal's getting involved now. He's out here helping Mordecai. He just drops Logan on his head. Kill him. Yeah. And Zach probably just helped Mordecai <laughs> save the hardcore title. Hey, watch out! No oh. bad that sucks. That sucks. And now Mordecai, he's got Logan. He's picking him up. Looks like he's going for his patented kamikaze DDT. And there it is, the kamikaze. That's it. One, one, two, two three. Yeah. And thanks to Zach's help, Mordecai retains the hardcore title. The new force back in action. Mordecai, that shuffling fool. And wait, there's Ray Parks! Ray Parks with parking right here! And another! A parking right here to Mordecai! And Zach! And he's out here to carry off his friend, the chipmunk, once again. Mordecai and Zach may have got what they deserved. That's in the eye of the beholder. But Ray Parks was here to aid his friend. The number one parka light, Logan Cable. His fans, this next match is going to be a big one. And hold, hold on, what is this? Coming out of the car. That's that's the Big Easy. The Big Easy is getting out of a car. He's not even scheduled for a match tonight. Who knows what he's doing here? He said he quit the family at the last pay per view. Mr. Easy's on his way. And wait, there's there's retard Robin Bob Wire watching on. Fans. Ready for the Intercontinental Title Match. Sergeant Bill Putnam, the man who says he is the only law, order, and justice here in the EWF, is about to face the Intercontinental Champion. The man who took law and order into his own hands. The man who put the assassin in his rightful place. The man who carries around the assassin's gun now. Jameson Cable. And maybe it is all about him. But Sergeant Field does not appreciate Jameson's claim to being. And he swats away the gun. And punches away at Jameson Cable, the Intercontinental Champion. Power driver, no! Oh my goodness! Yeah. And a back body drop! Yeah. Jameson pounding away at the Sarge! Yeah. 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 And now they're going backstage! Yeah. What's going on here? Jameson! Oh my goodness! Good grief! That's 
one of the loudest shots to the head I've ever heard. Not the butt. Not the butt. And not the butt. That's against the rules. He's got a baseball oh, bat. Holy crap. But Sergeant oh, Bill retaliates. Holy crap. This is about oh, honor and pride oh, in a person's oh, work. Oh, and Sergeant Bill doesn't appreciate the way Jameson is taking oh. over. And he slams him straight down on a big wooden crate. Oh. And there it is! That's the Jameis stunner! That's it! But Jameson is out of it! Get up, Jameson! He's crawling! One! Two! And a kick out! No, let's go, Jameis! Jameis stunner! Jameis! It's all, it's all about you. It's all about you. Get it! Oh. <laughs> Jameson is back in control of this match. And he's taking Bill Putman. Looks like he's taking him back in, back to the ringside area. Fans, you just got a backstage oh. peep show. Get him, Jameson! Stop his head off. Come on, Jameson. Now Jameson. He looks like he's looking for something. Yeah, yeah. Bill Putman's regaining his senses. He's got a chair. Oh. That's one of Bill Putman's Bill Putman's ideal weapons. Fans coming up after this match is our very special memorial service to our dear friend that has passed on. Oh, what a chair oh, shot by oh, the Sarge! Oh, on Jameson Cable! That may have been it! Get him, Jameson! He's got him up! There it is! Hard times! Hard times! That's a, that may be it unless he's going for his, for his off the chair leap! And it looks like he's setting up for it! Jameson is out of it! What's he calling? I think he wants his nightstick, maybe. Yeah! Do it! Yeah! Maybe not. Oh, and oh my goodness, yeah, right yeah, on the head yeah. of Jameson. Yeah, 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 That's yeah, it. Yeah. We've got a new Intercontinental One, Champion. Two, three. Sergeant Bill Putman defeats Jameson for the Intercontinental title. And wait, he, he's got Jameson's gun. Taking Jameson's gun! Tells the ref to hold his hand up. He's stomping away at the former champ. He's got Jameson's gun and what used to be Jameson's belt. The Sarge is leaving here like a bandit. Where's the justice in that? And Jameson's gonna go looking for him. Fans, this is a very serious time in our program. It's a time to remember. It's a time to reflect. Legions, scores of EWF superstars making their way out here. This is a very sad time. There you see Bob Wire, Retard Rob, Sergeant Bill Putman, ICU. Ray Parks, Logan Cable, Jamison Cable, Mordecai, and the franchise Calvin Johnson is very upset over this, taking his hat off in remembrance of the great organization that we all have come to hate. Rockcastle County Wrestling, the RCW, sadly, passed on it diminished over the past few weeks, months, and over the past year. And we have this service for them in their remembrance. There you see the grave. It's so sad. Yeah, it's so sad! It's so sad that they suck so bad! Because these EWF superstars are showing exactly what they think of the RCW! Kicking and spitting on that grave. And the Cryptic Souls crew are taking a leak all over that gravestone. 
That's what you get when you mess with the Extreme Wrestling Federation. Calvin Johnson leading the funeral procession. And that's what you get when you suck so bad. Fans, we gotta continue on. Painted black is gonna continue on amid all this laughter. Because right now, we've got a first blood match on our hands. Blood Brothers. Brothers. Real life brothers, Calvin and Doug Johnson, are about to face off in a first blood match for the first time ever here in the EWF. And there comes Doug Johnson. I think he stepped out of his brother's shadow somewhat at Thicker Than Blood. Doug was all cut up at the end of that match. His head was busted open. Calvin saw his brother's head bleeding. And I think something snapped in him. But regardless, Mr. McKibben has set up this first blood match between the two. If you don't know who this music, who this entrance music belongs to, you need to get out of the gutter because it belongs. It belongs to the franchise of this federation. One of the most recognizable entrances. Calvin Johnson. And he's not dancing like usual. He's taking this match more seriously than he took the match in Thicker Than Blood. And he starts off pounding away at his brother. First blood match rules. There are no pinfalls. There are no submissions. The first one bleeds. The first person that the referee sees bleeding loses the match. And the other is declared the winner. And I don't think the ref is quite clear on the rules of this match because there are no pinfalls. There's a Calvinator. A Calvinator is not going to cut it. Because you've got to cut him open somehow and get your opponent to bleed. And another Calvinator attempt, but he falls backwards. And Doug collides right on top of his brother. Oh, Doug, baby. Doug picked up the biggest victory of his professional career over his very brother. Oh, no. And that trash can with all that crap just came flying out of it all over our ring area. Oh my goodness! And that's how they're gonna have to get each other busted open. Doug does not care about what type of pain he inflicted on his brother. Calvin, one month ago, was very worried. He offered Doug many opportunities. He offered Doug many opportunities to get out of the match, to call it off. But Doug persisted. He said he was the one that wanted the match. He wanted to prove himself. Come on, Calvin. He wanted to step out of his brother's shadow. Come on, Calvin. And thanks to Mr. Oh, McKibben on, and Calvin. two humiliators, on, I think he may have did that. And Calvin with a great knee. A knee right to the head of Doug. Pounding Doug's head into that ladder. There you go, Cal. These fans are clearly on the side of the franchise, as they have been since the EWF's inception. Bust him up! Calvin's going up top, looking for some weapons. He's got a big board. Good grief! It just exploded all over his brother. I think he's gonna do it again. Good grief! Doug is getting what he deserves, if you ask me. There are no pinfalls in the first blood match. And you hear a fan that was quick to point out that there are no pinfalls. I think they were all quite unclear about that. And oh my goodness! 
That did not feel good. I Come felt on, that one pouring. Dougie boy! <laughs> Doug with a DDT on his brother. <sighs> Doug's getting aggravated. He wants this match to be short. He wants to make short work of his brother. He wants his brother to bleed. And now what's what, what's going on here? Come on, Cal. A suplex attempt by Doug yeah. turns into a suplex for Calvin. Yeah. Calvin has taken this match way more seriously than he took the match that had it thicker than blood. And now Calvin climbing up. And a bulldog from off the top. And now Calvin is looking in the back. I don't know what he's looking for, but Doug's laying out of here. He's knocked out unconscious. Get up, Doug! He's got a trash can lid. Your goal in this match is to get your opponent to bleed. And that's exactly what Calvin is doing now. He is raking at the forehead of his younger brother Doug. And Doug gives him a chin to the head. Or a head to the chin. <laughs> Calvin's got the right idea because he's pounding away at the forehead area of Doug Johnson. Now he's got a chair. Bust his head. And pounds it right at the side of Doug Johnson. Calvin's picking up the chair again. Take his head off! Take He's his gonna head take off. his head off! Oh my goodness! And he does! Calvin! Clearly in control here! And he is working on that forehead of Doug, hoping to get him busted open! He's got a metal baseball bat! Pounding at the head of Doug Johnson! Calvin is snapping before our very eyes. Go, Calvin. Calvin Johnson. Come on, Calvin. He's still Calvin. waking away, and clawing oh, away God. at the forehead of Dougie Boy. Get him, Calvin. Mr. McKibben's prized yeah. pupil. He says he's the leader of the family now. And Calvin is snapped to the point that he has upset the ref. And so he knocked him out. Come on, Calvin, get him. So now we don't have a ref. Get him. Nobody is, nobody's here to call a winner for the match. And I think Doug may be busted open because Calvin just laid him out with a rusty pie tin. Ref, wake up. And he is. That forehead has finally been busted open. There's no ref to decide the match. Calvin's got the match won. Calvin's got the match won. There's the owner. Mr. McKibben. He's out here with a pool of water. And he's wiping off Dougie boy. No. He just washed all that blood off. The referee is coming back to his senses. And now Doug, what's he doing? He's got some type of a sharp object. And now he is raking at the head of Calvin. Cut him open, Doug! Cut him open! The referee, Dale Putley, did not see Doug bleeding. Come on, Calvin, get out! Come on, Calvin! He was revived at about the time that Mr. McKibben had it all wiped off. And now the referee is fully conscious. And now he's calling the match. Because I believe Calvin is busted open. Calvin's busted open. Doug's won the match. I cannot believe this. He has stolen another match away from his brother. Fans, I understand. Back to the locker room. Mr. McKibben's back there with Bill Putman now. He's the heavyweight champion. Rejoicing yeah. over their victory. And there's Jameson. What am I good? Oh. Jameson, he, was, he asked where his gun was, so he ran off with Bill Putman's nightstick. Oh. 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 We've had 
so much going on. Still so much to go. Here come the EWF Tag Team Champions. The Cryptic Souls Crew. Retard Rob and Bob Wire. We're going to be squaring off against this man. Chaz Cable, the Cranky Boy. And a mystery partner. We have no clue who his mystery partner is going to be. There's so much going on between these two men, these three men, and over who's the most hardcore. I don't need a mic. My mystery partner is the only other hardcore man in this federation besides me, the big. Easy! Oh my goodness! Can he choose a tag team partner? Or can he choose a tag team partner? Because he's chosen a former tag team champion himself. The Big Easy has his partner. Handshake. No? Oh my goodness! And a bat bats away. The Big Easy is batting away. And Bob Wire and Chance Cable comes flying as a tag team champion. And the Big Easy's pounding away at the retard. Good grief. How many more surprises are there going to be? One, two. Chaz Cable has had run-ins with retard Rob and with Bob Wire. The Big Easy missed on that one. And he's also had run-ins with the Big Easy. Thicker than blood, we hey, saw the Big Easy here. chase Chaz Cable out of the I got arena. A souvenir for you from Retard Rob. The Big Easy you know got the Big Easy's being choked <laughs> by Retard Rob. <laughs> and now Bob Wire's setting up. This is a clothesline. Chaz Cable with the bulldog, no, and he turns it into a sidewalk slam. A side suplex, and the Retard is pounding away at Chaz. While the Big Easy chokes Bob Wire. The Big Easy is probably the most experienced tag team wrestler here. And now the Cranky Boy pounds away at Bob Wire. These tag team matches, since they have started, since they started here in the EWF, have probably been the most entertaining matches you can find. With all of these competitors. Oh my goodness! That leather strap across the back of the cranky boy could be heard a mile away. Chess Cable is being dismantled. And Big Easy isn't faring so well as himself. And he kicked Bob Wire right in the butt. And now the Big Easy, I believe, is trying to help his partner up. Yeah, I'm fine. Chad said he's the only other hardcore man in this federation. I'd say that he made that assumption because of the way the Big Easy's been destroying him over the past few pay-per-views. The Big Easy's been the one getting destroyed right now. What a shot right there to the knee. Bob Wire may have just busted his knee thanks to the Cranky Boy. It's so hard to call these matches. Big Easy's got the can. Oh my goodness! He just rammed it right into that same knee that Chaz Cable nailed. And Bob Wire cannot even get up. And now a bat to that injured knee. He is going to cripple this member of the Cryptic Souls crew. And he sweeps him right off of his feet. Bob Wire. And what's the Big Easy doing? He's climbing up top. Is it? We, have, we have a fan up top. He better, he better get down. Because the Big Easy is going up. I cannot believe this. We've never seen the Big Easy climb to this height. And these fans are going crazy. These fans are daring him to 
do something. Bob Wire is laying down here. He can't even move. His leg's probably been shattered. I don't know what the Big Easy's going to do, but look at the height. Look how high he is. Yes, he's insane. What's he, what's he thinking? And wait. Oh, my goodness. Good grief, Gertie. Have mercy on these men's souls. Because that man has just jumped from the top of our entrance onto that man whose knee has been busted open. Taz Cable and Retard are going at it. But I tell you now, we've just seen the biggest elbow drop in the history of our federation. Big Easy going for a cover and only a two. I cannot believe this. The tenacity, the, the endurance of these men to even go on. Bob Wire, I don't even see how he got up from that. And the Big Easy, he came down crashing. I don't see how he's going to be able to stand. And retard, what a, what a smart move there by a guy who's retarded. Three men are down. We have I don't believe I don't believe we've had anybody attempt a pinfall. Maybe once after that elbow drop. And now Bob Wire just snapped Chaz Cables the top of his head. Oh my goodness! And the big easy went for two, but the retard was already down. <laughs> Big Easy's holding Bob. I hate that for you. Chaz just accidentally hit him. He said he hated that for him. He doesn't seem too upset about it. The Big Easy might be upset about it. Where you going, you big what? What's the Big Easy doing? What you think you're doing, huh? You don't hit me, huh? You don't hit me. Hey, you're my partner. I got you. And the Big Easy didn't appreciate it. Yeah. And a choke slam, an easy way. Oh my goodness! A choke slam on the cranky boy. And the Big Easy may just be, maybe knocked out. I think he's leaving. You ready for the good stuff? The Big Easy's leaving. He's abandoning the cranky boy. Chaz Cable. Nailed the Big Easy unintentionally. Chaz is down. Wait, there's Kane. Sure. Kane said he'll be his part. Wait, he said he'd be his partner. Oh, what in the world is that? And wait. Oh my goodness. You suck. There's that reverse DDT. He's got his belt off. Yeah. Play it to him. And he is whipping. The Cranky Boy! I think Kane was getting some payback for the bad mouthing that Chaz laid on him and Zach at Thicker Than Blood when they were just fans. The odds have definitely been stacked up against the Cranky Boy. If you take a look and count up Retard Rob, Bob Wire, the man who was supposed to be his partner, hey, the Big Easy, so and the man who said he'd be his partner, Kane, it's been a four-on-one for the Cranky Boy. <laughs> Boo! Boo! The you Cranky Boy is trying to defy all the odds to become Boo. tag team champions. If he wins the match, I'm just wondering who his, par who his tag team partner is. He started off with the Big Easy, Kane came in for about five seconds. So I don't know what to expect. Chaz is up yeah, top. Yeah. Oh my goodness! Good grief, Gertie, he may have taken his head off. So one, two. He may have taken his head off with that shot to the head. 
Bob's getting back up. Retard! Get over here, you stupid retard! And now I think we're gonna see some of that patented Cryptic Souls crew double teaming. They're picking the cranky boy up! Two, three! And oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! A human being has just been tossed over the security railing! On top of a trash can! A metal trash can! Chaz Cable is getting killed! And what is this? Oh my goodness! They almost decapitated him! I think they are trying to kill this man! Set up a table, retard! And now Bob's calling for a table! This match has been unbelievable! We've seen the big monster, the big easy, climb to the top of our entranceway and come flying off of it over the entrance tunnel onto Bob Wire. And both men live to tell the tale. Come on, guys, it's enough. It looks like the Cryptic Souls crew are. <laughs> Wanting to finish Chaz off with a table. Look close there, boy. Look close. Chaz, I, I don't even see how he's even breathing. We've got a little bit of an argument going on here. I, I don't know what's going on here. These two guys are among the most charismatic, most inventive, imaginative characters here in the EWF, so what they're going to try, I do not know. Chaz is trying to escape harm. And what's this? Bob's up top, Rob's down below, and oh my goodness, they just slammed Chaz face first through that table. And they just called for the finisher. Finish your block. And they're the setting Chaz Cable up into the appropriate position. And they're burying him. The burial. Now they're climbing up top. This is how they won the tag team titles. Bob on the left, Rob on the right. Two, jump. And oh my goodness, that's it. One, two, three! And the Cryptic Souls crew are successful in defending the tag team straps. But you have got to give a lot of credit to Chaz Cable for taking as much punishment as he did and hanging on. Fans coming up though, right next. It is for the heavyweight title. It don't get no bigger than this. It is for the EWF Championship, a triple threat between Bill the Apocalypse, Shane Smith, and Ray Parks. comes the first participant, the Blackheart, our former hero, Bill the Apocalypse, dressed in black, black, painted black. Here comes the seesaw soldier himself.
The man who says he is our new hero. Shane Smith. He says he is the heir apparent to the throne. He's been given a couple of opportunities to win the heavyweight title. But I think he's got as good a chance as any right here, right now. Because he's going to be taking on that man there, Billy Apocalypse and Ray Parks. And this match is already getting underway. Ray Parks isn't even out here yet. Get out Bill and Shane are trading blows. They're not waiting for Ray Parks. They're not waiting for the outcast. Remember, this is under triple threat rules. You do not have to pin the champion to become the new champion. Shane could pin Bill. Bill could pin Shane. And either man could become new, the new champion. If Ray Parks does not get out here soon, we can have a new champion before he even gets into the match. Ray Parks is chickening out. And the Blackheart is pounding away at the Seesaw Soldier. They're trading blows like there's no tomorrow. And a suplex there by Shane. And finally, here comes the champion. There comes, the, well there's Ray sign burning. He needs to get out here because this match could end before he even gets here. There comes Logan signaling for the champ. Bill kicks down the, and Ray Parks is furious. He pounds away, he is. We've got all three of these guys going at it everywhere. Somebody cut the music because these three men have just waged war. And he ducks out of the way. And yeah. Russian leg sweep on sure shot Shane Smith. A trash can comes hurling from nowhere. And here comes Bill the Apocalypse. This match is going to be fast, furious, and wild because the action is all over the place. And Shane with a shot to the head and another one. I think it's Shane Smith's destiny to leave here with the heavyweight championship. Come on, Ray! He is our new hero. Although Ray Parks, he, his claim to fame is that he is claiming that all the fans are Parkalites. Everyone wants him to be the champion. And Bill the Apocalypse says he is the uncrowned champion. And some actual double teaming going on here. And a nice suplex. One, two. Both men went for the cover there. I don't know who would have been champion if that would have happened. And the belt's being used. And he's pounding at Ray's back. We hate building chicken. Chicken up. We hate chicken. Ray Parks is down. Smythe and Chicken Pox are going at it over here, as Ray Parks likes to call them. A one-fingered cover, and there comes Ray. Come on, Ray. Ray with the cover. No ref. The ref was preoccupied. And this match is is all over the place. There's no there's no friendships here. You are looking at three very distinct, three very different individuals. It would work to their advantage to work as allies, but you're not going to see that here. 
There are no friends. This is this is about greed. This is about this is about being on top. This is about good grief, Gertie. This is about the EWF title. Bill the Apocalypse has shown a new edge. And he looked like he was going for a modified Calvinator. This night has been one that will go down into the record books. We've got a new Intercontinental Champion, Sergeant Bill Bookman. Let's go short shot. So much other, so many other things have happened tonight. Come on, Smith. The Force has come back. They call themselves the New Force. Zach, Ken, and Mordecai. And we saw a new faction emerge. Roberts Enterprises. Terrence Roberts, ICU. And the return of Grimace. That along with so much other, so much other action. Oh my lord. It's gone down here tonight. I can't even run it all down for you, fans. You're just going to have to watch it for yourselves. <laughs> and Bill's up top. And there's an elbow drop. And we've got, we've got a loose fan. Somebody get that fan out of the way. There's a fan over here. In front of the set, he's going to get hurt because these three men do not care. One, two. As I said, it's about greed. It's about being the number one man in the business. Fans, we want to go ahead and let you in on a, you got that time, a little short tidbit shot. coming up in November. It's the, the EWF pay-per-view spectacular shot, EWF Smith. Cold War. War is going to be waged then, just as war is being waged right here. Bill the Apocalypse stops the cover. What a fitting night. What a fitting occasion for Painted Black. Halloween night here at Cable Castle, October 30th. Not actually Halloween night, trick or treat night. But we've seen all kinds of characters. We've even heard of kids that are saying that they want to dress up as their favorite EWF superstars to go trick or treating in. Can you believe that? Ray Parks finally getting back in control of this match. And the fans are cheering for sure shot Seesaw Soldier Shane Smith. Say that six times fast. And Bill the Apocalypse just got tossed through the set. Our set just came crashing down. It doesn't matter. We need to be it. And Shane is showing a new edge. And a bulldog by the outcast. I think the fans are finally coming around to accepting Ray Parks as a legitimate champion. As a legitimate as a legitimate wrestler to actually root for. His interviews are, the, are among the most entertaining in the business. And he is proving himself here against two opponents. And a two count. Very near, a lot of near falls here, fans. And Parks has got a trash can. And you know what that means. It's time for kicking a can. And yes, kicking a can has just taken down Bill the Apocalypse and Shane Smith, and all three men are down. And Ray, 
And that fan, if, if you just saw that fan in the background, he, he looked like his knee was injured. I think it was from a flying trash can. I, I warned him once to get out of harm's way. Because these men are going at it. One, two. And referee Jake Cornelius is right there on the job. And oh my goodness, the rocker dropper. That may be it. No, he doesn't go for a cover because Bill the Apocalypse is taking him away. And now Ray, Ray's got a ladder. Oh my, wait, Bill blocked it. And these two men are going at it, trading blows. Shane is knocked out, but he's hidden behind that curtain. Nobody knows that he's out. And Bill the Apocalypse goes hurtling over. The curtain! What an athletic maneuver! Two! And a two count! Only a two! Shane is showing some great determination here. At one point or another, I would have to say that all three of these men are deserving of being champion. And now Ray! Ray's at the top of that ladder! Ray has ascended this ladder! Looking over his opponent! Yeah, yeah, do it! Is he gonna jump? Yes! He crashes down on the black heart! And Ray Parks just got tossed through that portion of the set, tearing it down. One, two! And we almost had a cover. And now Ray Parks. Ray Parks looking for something for a trash can. And yes, park it right here. That's it. That's it. But Ray is almost out of it. Shane going for the bum rush. Shane. Shane's got the bum rush. That's it. It's over. Cover him, Shane! Cover him! You want some of me, buddy? Oh, wait, what is this? You want some of me? What? What, what is this? One, two, three! What is this? What is this? Shane Smith just laid down for Bill the Apocalypse! On this night, Ray Parks has been screwed out of the EWF title! I cannot believe this! For the second straight pay-per-view, these fans have had their backs turned on them, this time by Shane Smith. I can't believe this. Fans, we'll see you next month.